go. All right, we're on. Let's see now. Any particular place of interest you'd like to show me? Or any mission uh, you well, got to do? I can't see on your map like where you've been. I don't know where you've ever been. Not really um, that many places. Let me see. Let me bring it up. Um, I don't even know how I would. Well, you said you haven't been to Morgantown yet. Yeah, that should actually be one of the first places you go to in the game. In the game. Let's see, Morgantown, Morgantown. Where? You know, I haven't. It's been just kind of north. Mothman. Kind of northwest up there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Big Owls. I was gonna take you to Big Owls. Okay, let's do that. Um. Is Morgantown on your map? Let me see. I mean, like, have you been to any of it? I don't think so. It's just kind of northwest there of us. Northwest, okay, go up to this way. Yeah, see, it looks like a city. No, I don't think so. I don't have any markers. You don't have anything so. up there? Okay. Yeah. Because there's like six locations. Okay, yeah, because there's. I see the Mothman and I see the, the Ferris wheel, but no... I, there's the, oh, let's see, what is this, the, uh, oh, oh, you know what, Morgantown Airport. Oh, no, that, that's really west. I'm talking about just close by here. Okay, let's see. Yeah, well, you know what, I've been to the Morgantown Airport, Vault Tech University. Yeah, you know what, Morgantown, yeah, I have been to Morgantown. Do you have Fraternity Row on there, next to Morgantown? Fraternity Row, I don't see it. I well, you said you got Vault Tech, so let's... Let's just go to Baltic. All right, cool. Let's go. Uh, because it's close enough to everything. It's like Big Owls is like right below that. All right. Oh, oh, fast travel there. Gotcha. Now, dear, are you fast traveling, or did you come with me when I hit it? You just disappeared, so I'm guessing I'm fast traveling there now. Okay, so automatically does it when I fast travel. Okay. Yeah, because I didn't know if since we're if we're not technically in the group. Because I know in public you have to actually get in a team together to travel together. So. Oh, okay. All right. But I wasn't sure how private uh, worked. Whoops. Yeah, so, yeah, like I said, I haven't... Like, I. it's funny that you got in later because I, I did the beta and then when it first started. And then I haven't played this game, on, gosh, probably since the first month or so that it came out oh really yeah oh wow yeah from all the guys that i've talked to i mean they've said that the game you know because i didn't play it at launch i didn't start playing till summer this year's or of 019 so they they said that the games i mean it still has problems but it's a lot better than what was at launch so well that's good to know all right so looks like you are this way for me I I'm just going to run to you instead of fast travel. Oh, so is there like stamina? Oh, yeah, I guess. Oh, action point. Yeah, I see that. I guess that's in the Fallout Yeah, yeah, it's called. Uh, they call it AP. Yeah, yeah. APs. Big L's. Oh yeah, here it is up here. He's the best character in the game since I don't have very many NPCs. Yeah, so they must have added him since I. Oh yeah, yeah. I just I just uh, discovered it. Discovered it. Yeah. Oh, did you go in? Oh, was I not supposed to? <laughs> Oh, I was going to, I think it's going to ask you, it should ask you to read this poster that's outside. Oops. <laughs> oh, no, it's okay. It's a, the, the first time I, you know, I did the same thing. I, like, went in, and then it was, it had triggered a mission, and it told me to read the poster outside, so I had to go back out. All right. Let's see. I'm just going to open the door. It's too bad that they don't have just, like, open doors. That you, There's just these, uh... Loading screens. Is they what? 
that the doors don't just open like it's just not like an open world that there's a oh there's I see what you mean yeah these loading screens yeah I think it's like um see I wish Steve Decay would do that because they, that those guys have said that they can't give us multi-level buildings because the game would probably crash. Like, it couldn't handle it. Gotcha. But if they would do loading screens where it was its own separate world in the building, yeah, uh, we probably could have multi-level then. I could see that. Um, I don't know if you noticed or not, but I started playing Sea of Thieves, and I was shocked to find out that that was... Oh, yeah. Our... Yeah, I did on unreal are you liking it oh my god i'm loving it i can't even believe it how much i like it <laughs> all right Pirate. i heard people complaining about it at launch and they were saying there's nothing to do but eat bananas or something and i was like but see i think they're the same way i i think when they came out they did not have any hard landing content no that's... so people were getting upset because there wasn't as much to do and i think they have a lot more now yeah, ex exactly. They have like uh, story missions and stuff like that, and uh, yeah, um, um, and yeah. See, because I was reluctant too. Because after my sort of initial experience with Fallout seventy six, I was like, I don't know, just a make your own adventure game, and you know, the PvP, mm -hmm. just people can jack you up and stuff like that. Um, but you know what? Yeah, they can't do anything unless you fire back. So. I've had people, they'll taunt you. The, every now and then you'll get some jerk that tries to taunt you at your camp. Right. Um, but what happens is is that if he, like, um, does anything like damages your base or, um, like, let's say I had um, my water. I can lock it so nobody can take my water. Uh, if he tried to pick lock it and he didn't succeed, uh, or even if he did, he becomes wanted, and anybody else on the map, they try to kill him. And then you get bounty rewards. Oh, wow. Yeah, because, like, I have got, right. gotten ganked a couple times. In fact, me and uh, me and Benny were playing uh, for a little bit the, uh, yesterday, and we had, a, like, a really valuable uh, uh, treasure chest. And right as we were cashing it in, um, someone attacked us and killed us and took it. And and it was actually... Oh, this is on Sea of Thieves bounty. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was actually more fun. Than, yeah, it was kind of a, you know, it was kind of a, a bummer, but, um, but it was there, there, still enjoyable. There's a little trick people play uh, on this game. Right. Because I had it happen to me. Okay, I was like level, I want to say I was level 37, 38. I had some low level 7 guy that just kept smacking me with his uh, weapon. And I knew he was telling me to try to get me to fight, and I was higher level than him, so I was like, you know, I'm just going to take a shot at you. And that triggers player versus player when you hit back. And oh, right. He had a friend using, he had a friend with him that was using a stealth thing where I couldn't see him, and he was like level 270, and he killed me in one hit. Oh, uh, wow. Maybe because they were in a team, so when I triggered it back at the other guy, uh, then it made it so the other guy could kill me if he wanted. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so, so uh, yeah, I learned my lesson. That I guess that's a trick some people do. They'll have a real high-level friend with them, and they'll be low-level taunting people, trying to get them to fight. And... Um, so did you read that, or did you get the poster? I did read it, and uh, it said like it was I leveled up, I think, but I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Oh, for your perks? Yeah. Um, Usually you go to your perks if you leveled up, you can rank up your perk by one. Pick a perk. Okay, so maybe endurance? I guess charisma probably isn't that valuable in this game. Alright, so... then I've, Yeah, see, I don't even remember what cards I, I have, but it looks like I can... Oh, I know. I'm, I'm level 129 now, and I have so many cards to choose from that it it's almost hard to keep track of them all. I guess this adamantium skeleton ought to be good. 
What's cool is you can change it at any time. Right, I remember you saying that. And then let's see. Equip. Because when I'm getting to, uh, if I'm wanting to craft something, <laughs> I'll switch out my intelligence ones to uh, stuff for crafting. <laughs> oh, wow. Let's see. Yeah, I guess I'll just add this skeleton. Can I add another one? So, mm, you know, I'm just going to leave it as is. I can mess with that later. Uh, yeah, so I did read the rules. Yeah. So I guess we got to attend a fraternity party? Yeah, I think it does. Is it asking you to go there or is it asking you to go inside? Let's see here. So This building. It's saying... It should have a little... It's saying attend the fraternity party. Oh, okay. That's at the frat house, then, is my guess. All it's right. nearby. Alright, I'm gonna guess we're gonna do some fighting. Uh, not really. I think there's two ghouls inside, maybe. Uh, oh. No, yeah, nothing, nothing big. I think there's like two ghouls that you'll find. I think what street it is. I think it's up here. Well, there's some ghouls. Oh, bad shot. Oh, I forget all my buttons. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, did I hit you? Hey, this... This was dead again. I'm dead. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> is there another one? <clears throat> okay. Oh. Oh, there is another one. Yeah. All right. Bunch of low levels. Oh, there's another one. Another one. Jeez. Guys are coming around, coming out of everything. As if it was Sadik of the cave. All right. <laughs> I was gonna say, you're gonna have a juggernaut spawn out of nowhere here. <laughs> Oh, here's and all these. Oh, look, have... here's ammo and stuff. I'll take some of that. Yes. I need some water. Mm. All right. Cool. Get hydrated. Oh, here's here. another one over here. Oh, oh, you know what, I guess it's... Oh, and I was going to show you, um, always go to your menu and look at the daily challenges, because you can do those while you're out and adventuring. Okay. And that way you can earn atoms. Um, because I already did some of today's, uh... Oh, I just got a challenge by collecting some caps. Let's see, I will do that in just a second. Oh, what's this? Right away. We could try it. I got one for 20 items to kill a death paw for today. I haven't done that yet. Oh, that sounds cool. <clears throat> I, kn I know I know for sure there'd be one on Death Claw Island, but other, other than that, they usually just kind of spawn. Oh, here's some more caps. There's a bunch of caps. And see, I take everything, like even like this padded blue jacket. Right. And you can sell that to the robot vendors. Oh, wow. Uh, let's see, okay, so menu, you said? And challenges. Yeah, the map menu. Oh yeah, kill a death claw. <laughs> Claim a workshop. Kill a legendary enemy at fissure site. Level up while... I don't know what... Uh, use stim packs. Perk card pack, I don't know what that means. Scrap junk to produce strength springs huh yeah I already did the spring one I know cuz I um, I've been playing today so I already collected a lot of junk and got springs from it gotcha so like even like the 10 millimeter you could break that down for parts or something scrap you can scrap everything like even clothes I mean you get like cloth from it I think and we 
would you sell it also to a vendor, maybe? A robot vendor? Oh, I usually look at the value. Like, if it's just going to give me one. Um, of course, early on like this, I sell everything. My higher level one, I don't worry about it so much because I got, like, tons of calves. But... There's a bunch of them. Oh, where did you come from? Ah, keep hitting the wrong button. Yeah, reload. There you go. Yeah, light bulb. You must have been the, the smarter ghoul. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, light bulbs were, <laughs> were fairly valuable in the four. Oh, yeah, you get copper from it, so. I think it's this house. Yeah, I've got a marker on it. I'm going in. I still keep expecting the doors to open instead of having the cutscene. I mean the whatever loading screen. And see with the dailies, like you get fifty, you can get up to fifty atoms a day just from the dailies. Right. So in a week, like if you did them all in a week, that right there's like three hundred. Wasted on Nuka Shine. Find the source of a dangerously potent beverage. Hmm. Eviction notice. <clears throat> there's stuff you'll find around here. There's a bunch of hats. There's a hard hat. Um, there's a green knit cap, oh, which I actually keep one of those because I, I like the knit caps. And can you imagine if roaches were the size of these rad roaches in real life? <laughs> hey, you want a tinfoil hat? Here's a tinfoil hat. Oh, nice. Yeah, I will take that. Let's see. <laughs> Turn my light. Whoa. Oh, and by the way, that's actually that that'll be a challenge at one point. It'll say go kill ten enemies wearing a tinfoil hat so you can get twenty atoms or something. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I take all that junk because stuff like that will come in handy. Okay, so wait, so how does it come in? Whoa, I hear one. Yeah. How does it come in handy? Oh, yeah. You don't have it right now, but you might have like a week or a day where one of the challenges will say kill like 10 enemies wearing a tinfoil hat. So that's where the tinfoil hat comes in handy. Oh, so you can just cash in the the uh, the hat without having to do an enemy? Is that what you mean? No, just keep it in your stash until you need it. Because you'll, you'll have a challenge for like say 10 atoms right. or 20 atoms. And it'll say, go kill ten enemies, doesn't matter which ones, but you have to wear your tinfoil hat. Oh, okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. I thought you were saying... So just hang on to it until... I get that. Yeah. I gotcha. Because I thought you were saying kill ten, ten enemies that were wearing tinfoil hats. But, you know, you wear it while killing... Oh, no, 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 I meant, I meant that's why I take stuff like that, because I kind of have, like, one of everything in my locker in case I need it. But... <laughs> oh, I gotcha. So, I'm just looking through this computer. It's a chef hat. Oh, I have one of those. I remember that. <laughs> He's a Voltaic University jacket if you didn't have that yet. I don't think I do. Let's see. <laughs> this dead guy's wearing a pail. <laughs> All right. A pail on his head. Got drunk. I thought there might be some like that reading that computer would trigger something. I think
think it's gonna send you back to Big Owls, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Okay, there's a foot locker in here. I'm picking the lock on. Moonshine jug. Oh, drink a, take jackets drink in a there. bottle of Nuka Shine. I guess I need to. Oh, where did you? Uh, oh, oh, you oh. gotta drink what I gave you that time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alrighty. So, let me see. I guess it's gonna be in my aid. No. I thought maybe it was just a bottle. Well, shit. I thought I saw one in it. It should be called Vintage Nuka Shine, oh, so gotcha. it'll be into the V's. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. It'll be at the bottom. Yeah, there it is, and there's the mark, so... Come find me wherever I land. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! He came from. He's called a party crasher. Oh, Mark, Mouth Harbor? Oh, where are they coming from? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, another one. <laughs> oh, wow, they just keep coming. Are they coming from downstairs? I guess. Come on. Yeah, from wherever the left of me is. Normally, there's only like one down there by the pool table. Yeah, there he is. Oh, yeah, it says clear out the party crasher. Oh, my God, this. Filter is like uh, the Blair Witch. I feel like I'm in the Blair Witch. <laughs> okay, I got about a minute before I head out. Oh, well, where did you come from? Party Crasher? Lighter. Now see, I farm everything. Uh-huh. Like, I, I, take, uh, I take everything. Like, I'll take these... These pool balls are all plastic, so that's really good to have. Oh, for real? What about this toilet paper? Toilet paper's cloth. And I guess the bottles are I glass. I hear footsteps. There are more of those guys up here. Oh, I thought that was you. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of them. Oh, jeez. Whoa. It's like they spawned twice. Get out of here. Shoot a Yagwai. Oh, here I go. it gonna put me all right looks like I'm on a mountain let me look here got some garden gnomes around a skeleton with a teddy bear teddy fear I guess I'll take that. Multi-purpose axe, I guess I'll take <laughs> that. What the heck? Whoa, man. Yeah, it puts you out there on the, um, kind of like on the east end. Oh, yeah. And I'm right near an event called the Messenger. I should ask you to go back to Big Owls. Read the Nuka Shine label in your inventory. Let's see. 
I'm gonna guess that would be under miscellaneous. Yeah, it's like uh, or under notes maybe. Oh notes, yeah, yeah, but Paper. you're right. Lucas Shine label. All right. And it says, at our alma mater stands a boy, gray and cold. The steps behind him are the first threshold. Around the right corner, study the street. Just to the left is the place that we meet. There you can stain your skin with ink, but find the back door and we'll get you dr a drink. So yeah, so that must be the big owls. Solve the riddle. Okay, yeah, there it is. Yeah. So I guess I head back to... Was it the university, I guess, is the closest place? Or what, what, oh, you know. Well, you should be able to go directly to Big Al's now. Okay, yeah, I think you're right. Because you had already discovered it when we were there. Oh, yeah, there it is, Big Al's Tattoo Parlor. Fast travel. So I took so much stuff, man, I'm weighted down. <laughs> oh, my God. So you can't you can't fast travel? You're encumbered? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I can't. Well, I'm on my way there because it's close by. I'm heading there. I got you. It didn't take that long foot to get around Jamestown. As soon as I can find a um, shop of some kind, I can break this stuff down. Yeah, that, that's how you make caps. Um, take everything, gotcha. like, like any junk you find, break it down, and then there's some, uh, and, I, and I can help you with that, but it's like certain things like copper. I'll sell that on my own vendor. Right. But if it's stuff like ceramic, people aren't, people are not going to buy bulk ceramic. So put it in bulk, and then you can sell it to the robot vendors, you know, for like eight caps. And if you get like ten bulk, you know, that's like 60 caps right away right there. Oh, I got you. All right, so I am back to the, at the tattoo parlor. Oh, yeah, I saw you over there. Here, I'm in the back end. I guess it's out of range. Okay. Now in Nuclear Winter, on the player versus player, um, this is one of the maps is Jamestown. Oh wow! So what is Nuclear they, Winter? They you fight on. Huh? What is Nuclear Winter? I remember you were talking about that, and I know it's like an option you can pick. So it's it, it's the player versus player when you want to do like it's a battle royal. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. I've actually gotten a lot better. I started off, I was terrible, but now, I mean, I, I mean, I had a game where I had like seven or eight kills, so. Oh, wow. And it's easy to win because one time I won a match without even killing anybody. That, that's Biv. He's talking. He's a drunk robot. <laughs> what about, um... Surgical trays, is aluminum still a, a valuable commodity? Yes, aluminum. I, yeah, I sell any aluminum inside my own vendor. Uh, I sell it for 25 caps a bundle. Oh, wow. Uh, that's why I was telling you, always keep your plastic. plastic you need plastic to bundle the other um, items into bulk. Oh, wow. Okay. Because like ceramic, ceramic by itself you cannot sell to the robot vendor, uh, but you can sell a bulk of ten ceramic to the robot vendor. Oh, I got you. So, glass is another one. Uh, nobody's gonna buy it in your vending machine because it's so easy to come across glass in this game. Gotcha. Uh, but you can you can bulk it and then sell it to the robots. Yeah, because you know I don't remember. I couldn't. Yeah, because that was one thing that I wasn't really clear on early on as far as, like, bulking things, like... Oh, like, I, I, like I'm that way. I, I think I was, like, your level. I was probably, like, level 25 when I started to... Um, I was asking other people, like, how's everyone else getting all their caps? And one guy explained to me, he says, you know, you can get up to... 1500 a day from the robot vendors. That's how many caps they have to sell back to you. Right. 
So he said, right, there's 1500 and that's not counting what players are going to buy off of you. So you can technically make it over to 2k a day, and that's probably about what I do at least. Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, so where is this drunk robot? Oh, he's in a secret passage here. Oh. You have to open this up. It's the Nuka-Cola machine. Ah. Oh, man, by the way, I just heard this, but because they data mine, some people data mine the game. Right. Um, that's gonna be that's gonna be in the Atom Shop pretty soon. There's gonna be a secret Nuka-Cola machine secret door that we could get for our camps. Oh, that should be cool. Yeah, I, th I was thinking that'd be something I'd probably get too. Now, they have a lot of stuff I won't buy. Like I ain't paying 1,200. Or some of them I've seen some for 1,800 for a skin for my armor. Oh right, right. And like I'm not spending 1,800 of my caps. You know how long it takes me to grind for eighteen hundred? <laughs> yeah, <Adams? laughs> I was like, so the, a lot of that stuff to me is just junk because I already have. If you play Nuclear Winter, you're gonna unlock like probably at least a dozen skins in a way just for your armors and stuff. I mean, oh, a bunch of portable fuel tanks, coffee pot, moonshine jugs. What are these crushed acetone? Oh, I see. I, that's not what I thought it was. Yeah, you can't, uh, you can't pick those up, I guess. There you are, junkie. Does this smell like rock all of them here? Or is this... <laughs> <laughs> He's hilarious. It doesn't make any sense, but it is hilarious. Yeah, we already got people like me asking for, uh, you know, can we get around bib in our own camp? <laughs> <laughs> I'll get brewing station. Oh, excellent. I need all this water. It's a game. Drink is a game. And I am in first place, old boy. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me there. I could, I could, you know, really use a hand. If you got more than just the one. Hi, I'm Bev. And this is the number one alcohol quality testing robo brain. And all about from that, I'd be abstaining. Let's well, see I'm here. Well, this search for information drink. about Nukashan. And it's got oh, the mark on it, but I. And I'm interacting, but it maybe I have to use the computer. Yeah, I think so. Okay, Nuka Shine Ingredients Part One. Yeah, read the Nuka Shine ingredients in your inventory. He's like the only thing in the game that has any personality. Although Wastelanders is going to change that, I mean, like, they're adding a bunch of NPCs. So we're going to have two factions when Wastelanders come out. Uh, one's going to be a um, raiders group called, and they uh, I guess their base is called the crater and there's going to be a um, another group called uh, the foundation oh wow alright so let's see top secret nuka shed ingredients five corn five razor grain five wood two boiled water one nuka cola quantum it says find out Nuka Shine's missing ingredient. A Nuka Shine ingredient. Okay, that's what I'm looking at now. 
Oh wait, where did I get all? Oh, I got you. That was from you. All these plans. Okay, let's see. It should be nearby. It's up by a fraternity house where we were. Oh, I got you. Oh, I see. So, yeah. So, do you play solo a lot? Oh, <clears throat> pretty much all the time. I mean, when I'm in, I play a lot on public too, so. You know, sometimes you join events, and then because there's other people wanting to do that same event, you can join parties together. Gotcha. But that's about the only time I ever. And then when I'm, uh, you know, you're on a team, like in uh, Nuclear Winter. Uh, you're on a team of four. So, you'll, you, ah. so there aren't solos. They just you get uh, you just join with randoms if you're if you're not already a team. If you want to, there is a solo nuclear winner. Um, but I usually play on the the team ones because um, a lot of people cheat in a way and team up. Like I, I tried the solo one oh. and I had a guy kill me, and he was with three friends standing right by him that weren't shooting at him. So they were teaming regardless. Right, yeah, just like in uh, so. some of the other... Some of the other... Well, I'll out. see if I can set my tent up here. I think you can use it if I set my tent up. Okay. This is part of the fallout first uh, thing. You get the... And you've been happy with the fallout first? I to set it. Oh, um, I would not pay for... Uh, your subscription but I mean you know to have it once in a while it's it's worth it alone for the atoms oh wow because you get 1400 it is a month or something oh wow now you can't use the scrap box but you should be able to get your stack can you get your stash there yes okay so let's see. okay my how do I how do I get to my inventory Oh, did, well, oh, I see. Oh, and this is still the tent they gave us over the holidays. That's why it's got Christmas lights. I just leave it. Oh, I still got a power armor chassis on me. <laughs> yes, I have, um, I don't use power armor very often, but I have one set. Yeah, because for a while I was running around with that just for the extra uh, carry capacity I thought you got. I, I usually use it when someone launches a nuke and then I'll go um, into the blast zone so I could um, get the nuclear flora off the plants and stuff because you have to make stuff with that. I'm just unloading all my junk for now, just to lighten my load. You play the guitar? <laughs> right. I do like these little movable camps that they kind of add to the game. Yeah, I could understand that. So yeah, because I would say like in that hunter game that I play, you can set up a tent, and then it's like having a having a. Uh, oh, it's like a travel tent. You yeah, and you can you can swap out stuff in your inventory. And, uh, let's see, huh? It, you know what? I think there must I must have missed something in Big Al's because it's. It's the, there's like a marker still on the door. Like I didn't find something there. Oh really? Yeah, it's saying find out Nuka Shine's missing ingredient, and the and the marker is on the on the uh, tattoo parlor. Unless I'm supposed to come back to it. Maybe I'll look at my map. Let's see. Maybe that'll tell me something. Nope. The marker is right on the tattoo parlor. Huh. And let's 
see. Or maybe not. I can't remember how uh, this how this works. Cause, yeah, you, yeah, you know what? Actually, now. Okay, hold it, hold it, hold on. Wait a second. Because it should be asking you to go to that one house, and then you're gonna get a password to bring back here on the computer. Okay, so you know, what? I think you're right. That's uh, what I was thinking in a way. I can't okay, remember. Okay, because I just saw one. Like Pip, I guess you call it, and it said, "Yeah, find out Nuka Shine's secret ingredient." And then another one that said, "Go, go kill a Yagwai," which I'm guessing is a, a different mission. And I will say this: uh, Oh, Yagwai! Even when it was new, I did like the the uh, appearance of the world. I didn't have any weird graphical airs. Like, I saw, like, uh, like god rays coming out of the ground. Various things like that. I never experienced that sort of stuff. It always looked pretty good to me. All right. Yeah, I think, uh... Alright, now let's see. Now, where am I? See, now I don't have... That. Okay, if I... Yeah, see, if I look at the door, there's a pip, and it says, find out Nuka Shine's missing ingredient. Maybe it's... It should be up here by Fraternity House. There should be a building. Okay, let's see. Where are you? Because I go to this I go to this building every day. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, what? Okay. Did you get attacked? Yeah. No, it, it was nothing. Just a couple of ferals. But I got a military ammo bag out of one of those. Ah, yeah, yeah. They, where, oh, my goodness. Oh, those are valuable. I've got ballistic fiber. Yeah, exactly. All right, there you go. Ooh, diluted radix. Yeah, that's one thing I don't sell. Oh, I see. It was shoot a Yaogwai with a Karma syringe. Find out Nuka Oh, yeah, you're looking at different missions. You need to deactivate some of your missions so you, that way you can just focus on the one. Okay, I'm gonna do that now. Cause that's what happens to me. I, I'll have some missions automatically pop up, and I need to deactivate them so I can, cause it confuses you. I'm at ammo. All right. Yeah, you know, it's weird because on the map, it is... Um... Thank God, that was like eight, eight ghouls. <laughs> it's ambushed me. That's one thing I don't like about the game is that I've sometimes just going past a building will trigger an event, right? And then it <laughs> pops up on my map. Come to think of it, State of Decay does that. Yeah, it does. You know, like you ever drive past an area and it says, "Oh, survivor needs help right now." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Well, this is weird. All right, because I still have like one, two, three, four, five events, but they're not on my map to to clear. And well, you know what's even weirder than that is maybe it's because okay, you know what? I'm gonna just go to you. Um, but maybe that marker is on the tattoo parlor because. That's where I need to end up at. Yeah, because it will ask you. You're gonna basically you're gonna find the mystery ingredient. 
And then you're also going to have to get all those other ingredients that it had asked for. Okay. And then you're going to make your own Nuka Shine. Gotcha. And then what, once you've done that, it's going to... That's the end of the mission, and then you're going to get the plans where you can have your own uh, brewing station inside your camp. Oh, okay, cool. And let's see, are you in the fraternity? No, I'm up the street here. Okay. Let's see. I'm at the building that you should want to go to here. Oh, oh, oh alright. Alright, gotcha. Okay, so you, looks like you're on the other side. <coughs> I don't notice those Christmas, there's a Christmas tree. I never noticed that before. It's hanging on top of that building over there. It's on the back patio. Oh, I see, I see you running around over there. Okay, well, I don't see you. Are you, are you, am I in front of you? Are you? You're facing me now. Go okay. straight. So I see your headlamp. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, thank God you you understood. Oh, I see you now. You understood what I was saying. And these guys, if you break them, they will drop stuff. Is that right? And I, I would recommend, um, remember this place? It, it, it should appear on, it's right next to Fraternity Row. But come here once a day and come in this building. It spawns, um different kinds of nuka colas oh. and some of those are valuable like dark dark nuka cola oh wow so i farm it like i come here once a day just to get um the different colas and then you can sell those Inter like an orange nuka cola people will pay you money for that that's so crazy and you know what uh just out of curiosity how many caps do you have on this character, I only have like a thousand right now, but I mean, that's because he's new and I'm level, what, 17 now, but... Yeah, go in this room. See on this shelf, there's different ones you can take. Oh, yeah. Oh, and there is a dark. There's, there's grape, there's dark. Oh, and, an and, and this is going to respawn all the time, so... Well, what, here's an orange. If you come back here... If you come back here, like, you know... Uh, depends on how long you play. You could technically come back every hour or so just to check. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm already thirsty again. Uh, see, that's what I I don't like. Oh, here's a... Yeah, I think you need that, don't you? The, the tape lock? or whatever. Yeah. Personal log. Timestamp 1120761344. Well, I think this fridge here, if you unlock it, sometimes they'll have like a regular... Nuka Cola and a cherry nuke inside it. I'm greatly pleased. I clearly now have the greatest Nuka Cola collection in the It country. actually changes. But I push the capacity. Sometimes it's not there, sometimes they are. Solution. Uh, there's a nuka cherry. A warehouse in Morgan for further expansion. But first, I need the proper financial capital. I clearly need to strategize a successful commercial enterprise. See I, I farm so much I know what I get off of everything. I mean, like a gas tank, you know, I'm going to get oil and plastic. Right. I love Nuka Cola. I shall formulate a high proof distilled spirit with Nuka Cola, the perfect beverage. It just needs a name. I always forget on some of these canisters, crushed orange canister. I want to say some of the some of these will give you copper and steel, and not just steel. Yeah, you know, and it's because I, well, I already told you how long it's been since I played, but I could have sworn the, uh, crushed ones aren't very valuable at all. Alright, so... I think you have to go upstairs to get on the computer. Alright. Well, on this chemistry, if you have any junk to break down, you can always break down anything here at the station. Actually, yeah, I got some weapons I need to break down. I found a pool key. Because that way it lightens your weight, breaking the stuff down that you can oh, get double gotcha. on. You know, like your guns, especially if you have rifles that you found. Uh, just break them down for the wood and the steel. Scrap object. Yeah, see, it just dropped like 20 pounds that I had on me. <laughs> yeah. 
Dang. <laughs> That's me ringing the dinner bell. Okay. <laughs> There's a dinner bell in that kitchen down there. <laughs> supply room. Okay, distillery supply password added. Find out maybe she's trying to open the supply room. So maybe that's why that kept that mark on there, I guess. Oh, that's so wild. Oh, shoot. I gotta drink some water or something. Oh, yeah, I better... Oh, yeah. Mine's getting low, too. I better drink. something but I don't think I really have anything to eat. Have you ever claimed a workshop? I have at the uh, at the some airport. Uh, I had to fight off a bunch of super mutants and then a bunch of uh, I think uh, ghouls. Oh and there's a one that one Kind of at the beginning of the game that is, uh, that's, um, shoot, it's like a farmhouse. I mean, you had to fight. Well, the, fir the first one you probably would have been George, the, the Gorge Junkyard by the airport. Maybe that's the one you did. Cause they were, and there, yeah. And then there's the, um, Sunshine Meadows. I think that's what I'm thinking of. Industrial farm? Yes, yeah, where you had to fight all the uh, Mr. Handys. Okay. And I yeah, see, I, I, I didn't claim I didn't claim a, a workshop until, like, level 30. And I didn't know that's how you get the plans to get the defensive stuff for your base, like the walls, different walls. and. Oh, yeah, see, I don't even remember any of that. Yeah, because I, I saw some people using those for their camps. And I asked somebody finally, how'd you get that? And he said, well, you haven't claimed a workshop yet? And I said, no. And he says, when you claim your first workshop, you automatically get those. So. <laughs> oh, wow, there's all these uh, robot models down here. Yeah. And you can either, like some people actually take those and uh, put them in a display case or something, and then other people just destroy them. Yeah, no, I'm taking a few. I I really liked finding them in Fallout 4. Have I been down here? Uh, I'm hoping they're going to add some more display cases. Oh, right yeah. now, there's only a few out there. Because I, I got the Thanksgiving display case, which I like to use for like my kitchen. You know, put pots and stuff on it. <laughs> make it look more lo Living. You know, like it's more livable. Right. Yeah. Or I use it for my bar. I'll stick my drinks and stuff on it. Well, it kind of goes back to like what we were talking about before, but yeah, like in Fallout 4, I would uh, do that with my settlements. I used, I spent probably at least half my time in that game building sediment, settlements. And uh, well, it's like this. This brewing station is what you're gonna get for doing this, right? This quest, that, like this. And you know, honestly, I don't make that mi that much liquor. I do every now and then, but I have it mostly just for looks in my camp. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I could see that. All right. Well, I guess it's back to the tattoo part. Yeah. Guess I need to go. Kill some animals for some food. Did 
Did you go up to the Mothman Museum? No, I haven't been anywhere near the Mothman stuff. Uh, I haven't been there yet with this character, so that's something we could go do, uh, yeah, that's do together, cool. because uh, I know it'd be a lot of action, because there's a lot of scorched up there. Yeah, sounds good to me. Let's see, which way are we go? This way. Yeah. I have to say, Nuclear Winter's a lot funner. I, I didn't think I was going to like it. I was just going to play it so I could unlock stuff. Right. But then the more I started playing it and I started to improve a little bit, I was like, you know, this isn't too bad. <laughs> I usually don't like Battle Royal type stuff, but... Yeah, I would like to say... I, I, used, stealth the, I used stealth the whole game one time. Right. Because my teammates died early. So I hid. And I made it, I, I won the entire match because the storm killed the last three guys at the very end and I won. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's, I think that's the winning strategy for PUBG too. They couldn't get to me. I think one of them saw me, but I was right below a cliff's edge and they could not get their, fire their gun at me. And the storm was closing in and took them. Oh my God. <laughs> And I had a ton of stim packs, so the storm was burning me from where I was at, but I just kept hitting the stim packs and then um, keeping my health up there. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the best way to do it, too, because I'm sure those other dudes were, like, pissed off. I want to get this music in my camp. Oh, I can't hear it. I've got all that stuff turned down. Um... Because I got copyright strikes on some previous, on my initial. Oh, thing. that's right, on your videos, yeah. I've had that happen to you, so. And, you know, I even used the classical music thinking, oh, there's no way that can be uh, copyright control, but I guess the performances can be. All right. They, they got me for a Skyrim video I did, and because I had a mod that was playing, I didn't think about it. I have a mod that plays music. You know, that's not from the game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That someone created. It's got a soundtrack. And I was playing the game and streaming it. Put it on YouTube, and I didn't even think about it. And then I got in trouble for it because that was playing in the background while I was in there. And... My friends are... They are great. Especially that one. Oh, nuclear material. That's what it was. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, there should be one there. Oh, there is. Yes. Oh, and another one. And another one. My reviving chambers always open. Alright. I know I have one razor green. I don't know if I have anything. Oh, uh, we can um go back to your tent. I was gonna say I have a bunch of stuff in my garden. There, there is a farm south of here, but I don't think it has everything we need. I think it's just gonna have the wheat. Gotcha. Oh, did you just pass? So yeah, we can go back to my place because my place I know has uh, you know wheat, tomato. I think you need corn. Yeah, corn and wheat. I think you need. Okay, let's see. I think you need five corn, five weeds. And you get the nuclear waste or something else. Oh, yeah, and some water. Uh, yeah, make sure you have some pure, I think it's pure water. But if you, uh, you, do you have Game Pass? Game Pass, yeah. Because, uh, you might consider... <laughs> I blew his head off. You might consider getting, uh... Uh, Sea Thieves and joining me and Benny. Some time for that, too. Okay. Alright, now let's see, Stash. Okay. Yeah, I was actually thinking about trying that, you know, when it came out on release, but then... It was kind of like Fallout 76, it got... It was so terrible that I was like, yeah, I better not buy it yet. 
<laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, no, I, I, I know exactly what you mean. All right, so it's five corn, five razor grain, five wood, two boiled water, and a Nuka Cola Quantum. All right, let's see here. So I don't have a quantum. Oh wait, no, I do. I do. Oh, uh, I do. Okay. So how do I? Yeah, okay. How do I go yes. back to? Let's see. Is it this? No. How do I get to my stash? So now I'm stuck in my inventory. RT container. There we go. All right. All right. So, ah. Uh, there's Nuka Cola Quantum. Alright, yeah, no corn. I'm gonna take all of that. There's the, uh. The, uh. Got plenty of water. I don't think I have any wood. Unless it's under junk. Yeah, wood scraps. I need five of those. Uh, how do I only get... How do I, how do I grab just five of them? Five wood? Yeah, because it says I have 33. Well, it should ask you when you go to select it. It should ask you. Oh yeah, yeah, that's you right. You want to take all thirty-three? Oh, or... that's right. That's yeah. See, that's how long it's been since I've played any sort of file. Okay. So yeah, there's the five wood. Now let's see here. And I got corn right outside. If you need more of that. Okay, cool. Yeah, because I need the five corn and four razor grain. Yeah, that should be right over here outside my my garden. And this way. Up front. All right, and well, I guess you could jump over that railing there. Is the razor green on that side? Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh yeah, I see it. Okay, so one. Yeah, it's right here. And then the coins on the side of the building over there. Okay. Okay, there's the razor green, and then the corn. Oh, I see it. And I like that too in uh, Fallout 4, how you can make glue and stuff. Because I found it to be really helpful. Okay, I just need one more corn. One! Oh my god, my kingdom for one corn. Am I down to have four? It looks like it. So, can I put one in the ground and. or two in the ground and then. Harvest, or do they have to grow some? You know what? I'm going to try. I don't know if I have anything growing at my camp. Maybe I'll try going there. Yeah, at this point, I'm not sure how quick you can pick it, but. <clears throat> Worst case scenario, just south of Jamestown, there's a little um, house, and it's got. I know there's corn out there. Okay, where's Jamestown? Where we were. We can just go back to Yeah, let's do that. Let's just Owls go or whatever. Okay, Big Owls Tattoo Parlor. Yeah. Damn. Did you see my display case I put up by my uh, outhouse? No. <laughs> I'll have to check that out next time we get Yeah, my display there. case. My display case, I put some toilet paper and a toilet plunger and a big bucket. <laughs> so that, that way it kind of goes with the outhouse look there. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I like about the game, too, is that now you can, like, find objects and then use them in your camp, too, for um, to give it some life. You know, I have to say, I really enjoy that you enjoy this so much, because 
like kind of like what you were telling me. You hear people crapping on it so much. That's actually nice to hear someone who is enjoying that. Oh, I know. I'm in it. All right. Oh, there's a whole bunch of, uh, there's a pack of ghouls Oh, here. okay. I thought I saw one crawling. Yeah, there's a farm right down here, just past the highway. Another one. Yeah, right down there by the tractor, there should be corn and wheat down here. Okay, cool. You can, you can see it growing actually right now, yeah. I could have sworn I got a set of power armor in that barn. Oh yeah, uh, there's a building over here and it has power armor. Alright, there you go. There's it's one, it can be like one of the first sets you probably find, I guess. Alright, so I have gathered all the... All the ingredients. This is actually one of the spots I hide at in nuclear winter. I'll, I'll hide in that built that barn. Oh, for real? <laughs> yeah, like a lot of times I'll, I'll find uh, a couple mines and I'll hide up top and I'll plant mines at these entrances so they trigger them if they come in. Oh, nice. Yeah, I was just... that way they not only get injured by the mine, but then I'll finish them shoot off. Them. <laughs> yeah, I was just coming in here because I was hoping to. Get an yeah, I don't see the power armor. I was hoping to get another fusion core. I oh yeah, it's not this building. It's it's like this building. It's like okay, I thought so. by Mama Dulce. Yes, right. yeah, you're right. Yeah, that is right. It it almost looks like that though. That's what yeah. I need frog legs. There we go. Mmm, frog legs. Yeah, I think it's the. And there was, I remember, right and I remember finding one by the trains. Steve, not train. Yes, side, train yard. You're right. Yeah, train yard does have one too. I can't remember what kind that one is though. I don't think it's the same. Yeah, it's one of these. It's either this one or that one right over there yeah. on the right. For some reason, we'll look in this one because it's closest. But I think it's the one on the right. If you want any more, uh, watch the bungee or punji. Board the word. Oh wow! Ow, I hit it after saying that. Oh, and a mine. Oh, a mine. Oh, it almost killed me. Oh, I think they added. <laughs> I think they added those. I don't. I don't remember it. that. <laughs> or I mean, could a player have done that? No, we're in private. Oh, that's right. And they made it. I mean, no, they made it where nobody could just join without. Me, um... Oh yeah, I remember you saying that. Oh yeah, fusion core. But it's almost empty. Uh, yeah, it's hard to find the... Yeah. I, got, I mean, I got plenty if you need one. I got like 20. Oh yeah. They're like 90... Well, <laughs> 90 percent full. Well, I was gonna say, maybe not right now. I just thought since we were gonna be in the area... I take a look. Yeah, as you level up, you're gonna be like me. You're gonna start accumulating the full ones. Scrap items. Yeah, so you. Yeah. Oh, here's a makeshift battery. Those are good for lead. That'll have like five lead in it. Sweet, sweet. All right. So, where do we go from here? To uh, can, or, can, um, or can I just make that stuff here? Oh no, I guess I need a stove, right? Uh, no, you get well. You gotta do it at the Big Al's for the at the uh, the brewery thing. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, we just discovered Mama Dulce's. Or at least I did. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't gone there yet with this character, so <laughs> it probably gets hard to remember what you've done with what character. Oh, he moved right mm -hmm. Another one. Butt shot. This is a legendary weapon I got. It does 30% extra damage to ghouls. Oh, nice. 
Yeah, I just found it today. I got it off of a uh, legendary uh, creature I killed. So, even though it's only like level 10, I figure I just will use it until I'm beyond that level. <laughs> Makes sense. And then I'll try to turn it in for some caps or something. Yeah, because you can't, you can't raise the level of those, right? No. <clears throat> the only thing you can do with legendaries is either sell them on your vendor to another player for a lot of caps, or um, you can treat them for scri scrape or script or whatever they call that. It's like another form of currency. Oh, I got you. Uh, if you go to any train station, you'll see a machine. You can trade legendaries in for the script. I remember seeing by the train yard there was yeah like a train station with a robot in there. Yeah, there's a little vending machine on the side of them, and um, or not. I shouldn't say little. They're actually pretty large, but. And did you play? Yeah, once you get to like level fifty, about uh, level fifty is when I really started getting legendary drops. I mean, yeah. it's at the point now where I sell legendary weapons in my machines. You know? Oh, oh, that's right. Because I, I have like I have like ten, I think, for sale in my machine. I remember you saying that that you sold legendary weapons. All right, so let's see here. Because pretty soon that's all you're gonna do. You're gonna be like wanting to farm. Uh, first of all, you want to complete a armor set because you only get pieces. Oh, that's right. Oh, really? So, you know, defend depending on the build, if you want to do, like, say, scout armor, well, you want to find a matching set, so then you have to find legendary matching set of each piece so it matches. And... So and guess, weapons are the same way, like, you know, if you like shotguns and you use the perk cards, you're going to want to find legendary shotguns that you like, like a, like a bloodied, oh. bloodied shotgun. And then let's see, so I guess I want to make this fermentable nuka shine? Yeah, and then it'll tell you to go over to the other machine and read that note, and then you can instantly craft it or whatever. Speed up the process. Read the note. Oh, where is it? Oh, oh, that machine you're just standing at. There's a note there. See that? Oh, yeah. It's pinned to the side. Yeah, there, there we go. This new shine is selling out so quickly. We're just working on a flash for my to agent fast. It's not ready yet, so. We're going to say, please do not touch unless you are loose. I'm serious about this morning. You're in less than I, and I wasn't even operating it. It'll just, ex it'll just do a little explosion. Ain't going to do much. Okay, so add Nuka Shine to Flash for a minute. Whoops. Does get you down, don't be afraid to console. Oh, give me rage and I'll let you Give Nuka Shine to Biv. Is it already on me, I guess? Yeah, I think it automatically stuck in your inventory, I think. Do I smell me and Nuka Shine? Apparently it doesn't transport him. <laughs> now that is a drink. Uh, oh, excuse me. Here's the report. Quality rating. Forceful. I'm seriously, I, I want to get him for my butler at my camp. He's got a little bow tie and everything. <laughs> I noticed that er earlier. So, oh, in an app. I know, it just keeps making him talk. How do I give... Maybe it's in my inventory? I don't know. But do not slip the details. Would you come back tomorrow? Oh, I didn't complete it? Let's see here. Tall drink Oh, there we go. Challenge complete. I don't know what that challenge was. Whoa, that's 76 cap. No, 20 cap. I guess it. Wow, I don't know what challenge I completed, but I did it. So, yeah, I guess that's done.
Did it give you those plans for the... It should have given you plans for building the um, distillery and all that. And, you, and that's going to be in my notes. Oh, I can't remember where. I can't remember if there's plans or maybe you can automatically build it at your camp now. It might have just unlocked them. So maybe that's it. Maybe you can just build it at your camp. At your camp, you should be able to build this brewing station and the um, fermenting station. If the plans are in there, my guess is it just unlocks them. I can't remember. Gotcha. I should remember. I just did this like a week ago with this character. <laughs> It's your birthday. Every day. <laughs> exactly. I like to tell them how swell I'm doing. Yeah, because I it might you must be right because it's no longer in my to do list or mission list. All right. Well, let's I'm interested. Right. Um, the, where was your camp at? Uh, let's see here. It's. You are by damn by Uncanny Caverns, wasn't it? No, it, well, oh yeah, yeah, it is. I'll, uh, I'll fast travel there, and then at the very least you can fast travel to me. Is that, I mean, I can't see it on the map, but I was wondering if I can actually, like, see it if I'm there. Exactly, that's what I was thinking. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna fast travel there, and then you can fast travel to me, and then maybe you'll be able to see my camp. Okay. I can still hear Did you. Did you go inside Uncanny? <laughs> yeah. Uncanny Caverns? Did you go in there? I did. Yeah, did you? I was kind of disappointed, were you? I thought it was going to be kind of cooler. I mean, it was cool, but it was small. I, I thought it was going to be bigger. Yeah, I do remember it being small, but I don't remember really what... I just remember... Like a souvenir shop, and I remember going into the cavern, but yeah, I don't remember what I. Yeah, there's like some I, wolves in there, and then there's like a Wendigo, I think. Okay, let's see now. Where is my whoops? Okay, so it's behind me. Oh yeah, here it is. Okay. And then do I go to my my camp module thing to build? Yeah. All right. Um, but da -da 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 -da. Okay. Can I fast travel? Yeah, I can. <coughs> oh, maybe it's in their blueprints. No. Crafting, maybe? Oh, are you in your are you in your camp to see if it's available for, to build? Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to think what it's under. Oh yeah. I want to say it's under appliances, maybe. Okay, so in crafting. Oh no, it's under crafting. Yeah, yeah, it's fer crafting. fermenter. Brewing station. Yeah, there it is. It is here. And is that you out here? Yeah, there you are. Can you see anything? Yeah. Yeah, I can see it. Oh, you got one of those, um, you got the magical floating bases with no... With no what? Um, what do you call it? Anti-gravity holders. <laughs> <laughs> so really, you can see... You mean some guy, some of the people on Reddit, because I'm one of those people, like... I tell him, I said, you guys ever wonder you go to these bases and you're like, man, so these people have these floating bases with no support beams. <laughs> oh, so that's what you... See, oh, I'm yeah. like that. I, I'm, I have a pet peeve on that. Like, when I build, it bugs the hell out of me if I don't make it look like it has support. <laughs> okay, I do. I mean, I try to, I try to make it uh, as supportive in a way as I can look. There are times where you just have to, like, screw it. Just let it... Okay. Now, do you have vending machine yet? 
Nah. Well, senior, I like these stoves. You get that old-looking antique stove. I like those. I haven't unlocked that for this character yet. Cause I, I like rustic-looking stuff like that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Oh, I saw a YouTube video someone made, and they built an awesome-looking treehouse. All right, cool. I'm good to go whenever you are. I'm one. Uh... Do you have the? Um... I don't see. Do you have a Tinker's workbench? I don't think so. I bet you didn't find the plans yet. Let me see if I have... Oh, you're lucky. I do have one extra set. Oh, nice. <clears throat> yeah, you should have that. That's how you make ammo. And it's also how you bulk everything. Like, if you want to sell it. Um, plans, plans, plans. And I can see I gave you the water filter. Right. So you should be able to... And I must have already... Which Tinker's workbench? Yeah, you know what, I must... Oh, thank you. I was going to say, I must have already known the... The, uh... The, the water? Yeah, because I've got one right here. Oh, okay. Well, see, a lot of people overlook it. Uh, you, you come across it, I think it's in, uh... Grafton? Right. And it's always sitting in the same spot for new for new players. But a lot of people overlook it, and you'll see someone level 30, and they haven't even found that plan yet. And then, and then you'll have some people that are jerks, and they'll sell it for like 500 caps on their vendor. Oh my god. <laughs> and somebody will actually buy that when it's easy to find. Oh, wow. And like yeah, I, ne I never sell the water. I, I put the water filter like at 5 or 10 caps, because... Really, it's just something that should be free, and and that Tinker Bench should be the same way. It's something you should automatically really just have. Oh, cool. All right, yeah, I mean. But you'll be, you'll be able to you'll be able to make any kind of ammo now. Oh, nice. That's wow. And and like I said, you're going to be able to bulk everything now too. Like if you want to sell, you know, you might have a thousand steel, like me, and then you want to bulk. You know, like four or five bulks, so you can go sell it. Oh, sweet! All right, nice. Now, now, steel will. Um, you can sell that also in your vendor. The bulks. <clears throat> so I'll make like a bulk of copper. There's ten in a bulk, right? And I'll sell it for like twenty-five caps. Wow. <laughs> yeah, and then I guess it just adds. So if I sell four of them. That's a hundred. Yeah, it adds up if I sell four, and most people will buy like four at a time. Uh, or more. I've had I've had ten bulk of copper, and some guy bought them all. Wow! So I I instantly made five hundred caps or whatever. And you know what? I'm gonna run to the restroom real quick. I'll be right back. Okay.
I better make some more ammo. Okay, I'm back. Oh, you know what? Actually, now that you mention it, now that I can, I guess I probably should also. What do you need to make ammo? Um, you need lead, steel, and gunpowder. And I guess that would all be in junk. And, and you can actually make gunpowder if you don't have very much. Yeah. Um, you can make it at the chemistry station. But I, honestly, I don't make a lot of gunpowder because um, I always find a lot of it in my travels. You'll find you'll pick up you know gunpowder as you play, but. But you might not have a lot right now, though, stocked up either, so you might have to make some. But... Yeah, I think I do. Yeah, because I don't have any. So what did you, what did you say was uh, lead, steel? Lead, lead, steel, and gunpowder is for ammo, and then you can craft any kind you want. Um, There are some energy ammos that you need copper for. It just depends on what kind of ammo. Uh, for the energy weapons, sometimes they require, you know, eyeball stuff, but... And then what do you need for the gunpowder? I guess they can just tell me, right? Uh, go to your go to your chemistry station. Chemistry is where you can make the gunpowder, I believe. And it should tell you like what's required. After yeah, that. yeah. You know, I kind of I kind of re realized that as soon as I said it. Let's see here. I want to see it's cloth. Acid and is it cloth. cloth and something else. Acid and cloth. Yeah. Right? So let's see here. Bill. Oh, so I guess if I have it in my stash, it just uses it. I don't need to put it on my body. No, you don't. It, um, and even when you're traveling, like, you know, if you just come across, let's say you kill some mutants. Right. And they have a workbench in there. Uh, you, you can use the workbench and it's going to take it out of your inventory and not, you don't have to have it on you. Alright, so I'm going to put this lead and steel back. I, I was the same way. Uh, I When I first started, I was thinking I had to, like, carry stuff with me in case I needed to make ammo and stuff, and then I was like, oh, wait, it's just pulling it out of my stash anyway, so I was like... Wait, why am I so heavy? Why do I have on me? Um... Is there stuff you haven't broken down? Like, do you have you picked up a lot of guns or junk that you haven't broken down? Maybe that's what it is. I'm going through. So plans. Guns should... always weigh the most. Right, I don't think I have that many guns, but maybe, maybe it's my ammo. Um, I've got a lot of ammo on a fair amount of ammo. No, ammo is light. You can carry tons of ammo kinds. Um. Uh, in your aid, do you have too much alcohol? Some of the alcohol bottles weigh like a, you know, a pound each. Let's see here. Like, I carry a lot of vodka and stuff, and if you have more than 10, that's like 10 pounds. Um, plus, plus, perks matter. If you have a perk where your junk weighs 25% less, that kind of stuff matters. Because a lot of times I forget to, like, I remove a perk. And then oh. my rate's high enough, it's because I forgot to put a perk back. <laughs> okay, yeah. I... Well, like, I had a perk where it makes my all my guns weigh, like, 40% less. And then when I removed it, I didn't realize... I didn't put it back, and then I wasn't able to carry as much. Got you. Okay. So, so it's like little stuff like that. It just you have to get used to. Yeah, because I have no junk. All of my apparel I'm wearing. 
But I guess it's still its weight. Yeah, because I'm just putting on. Um, you got all your junk in your stash, right? Yeah. Yeah, because all I've got on me is a, a hatchet. Well, I got a, a baseball grenade, two mines, a hatchet, three plasma grenades, a plasma rifle, laser pistol, and my six shooter. Huh. Oh, well, I'm not going to worry about it. Let's see, let's make some ammo. You can always um, you can always mess with it later, but um, going going to your perks, you know, I bet you you, you probably have some perks that'll help you reduce your weight limits and stuff. Yeah, I'll I'll check that out. I just want to make sure I'm making the right ammo because I'm one. Yeah, I got yeah. Forty-four is what I want to make. Cause I'm, I don't have my uh, I don't have my hunting rifle on me. Yes, it looks like Hunter's Ridge would be the closest location to the Mothman or Vault 76. Uh, <clears throat> the closest for me is uh, Hill, Hill Fork Hot Dogs. In Sunshine Meadows. It's right next to it. Huh, I don't see that. Yeah, I see the industrial farm. The tower. Yeah, um... Hill Fork Hot Dogs is right to the left of... Industrial Farm. It's got like a little flag. Oh, okay, so I see it. In a tra I it looks like a trailer. Yeah, I see it, but I must not have discovered it. So I maybe okay, I'll, I'll go there and then you can. Yeah, there you go. That worked. Yep, there you are. Okay, here I come. Yeah, I had to take some earlier because all those ghouls had scratched me enough where I had like a little bit of radiation oh, on me. Oh man, and I'm also hungry again, but I don't have any food. Maybe I'll find some hot dogs. Actually, yeah, there are a few hot dogs. Over there on the river, there's a boat. Oh yeah, yeah, mall rat. It just. Oh yeah, there's mall rats over by the hot dog stand. They're always there. <laughs> hey, you can get the mole, the mole rat. Oh. Yeah, take the mole rat meat when you're done. Oh my god, where did it go? I can't see it in all this foliage. <laughs> oh my god. Where? 
Alright. <laughs> now I can't even see their bodies. <laughs> There's one that's on this side, but you can see where. Here's that other meat. You can take that. Oh, thank you. If you need to cook the meat, you can use my tent over there. It's got a kitchen thing on it. I can't remember if there's one in here or not. There might be, but. Oh yeah, there is a cooking station in here. Oh, just cool. over there. It's got a recipe. There's some wood out here too if you needed it. I just found three log piles. Oh, that, you know what? Trailer. You know what? That might have been what's kind of weighed me down because I've got 30 wood on me. Oh, another more at more at. Whoops. There's a ton of cans in here. I just found 20, that's like 20 aluminum. <laughs> oh, wow. That score. I always take toys. You buy, if you take the toy trucks and cars, uh, one of the hardest things to find in the game is screws. So, And you're going to use a lot of screws, trust me. <laughs> I, but yeah, I guess that's one thing that does, hasn't changed. So I did take a typewriter and some uh, oh yes but I some other stuff that had screws in it and because uh, I want to do uh, those pepper grinders I guess they still have like gears and stuff in them yeah plastic pepper grinder will have plastic and either a screw or a gear I forget it's because um, when we re repair our armor by giving it high levels, I repair my armor so often, you just burn through the screws so fast. Yeah, I, I bet. Alright, now let's see. Alright, cool. I guess there's really nothing in here. If you ever need your stash, just let me know, because I can drop that tent pretty much Oh, anywhere. yeah, I remember you saying that. Yeah. And so you don't have to be at it to pick it up. It'll just You can just re replace it, and it'll move. No. I just hit up on my D-pad and hit Y, and it'll let me place it. But it's kind of like a camp. Sometimes it's red, and it won't let you just set it down anywhere. Oh, yeah. So you just got to find a place that's going to let you set it down. and um, Because if you're too close to certain buildings, like this industrial, oh, whoa, whoa, here, sometimes you have to go a little ways from it. Is that a mall rat again? Yep. That's both. Dang. Some glowing fungus, if you... I don't make any glowing fungus puree. Uh, I haven't. I, I don't know if I have that <laughs> recipe yet. I, I, I have that recipe. I, I, I did just find a, a recipe for uh, some sort of tea. Oh, I think I hear a ghoul. Oh, there he is. I was disappointed in Deathclaw Island because, you know, with a name like that, I expect to find a lot of Deathclaws on it, and there's nothing there but a low-level, level 25 Deathclaw that I killed pretty easy. Oh, for real? 
Huh. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I was like, I think when I went there, I was probably like level 35, 37. When I had enough guts to go see what was out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because uh, in Fallout 3, there's that Deathclaw National Park or something like that, and it's like full of Deathclaw. Yeah, there's lots of them. I think it's a uh, um, Vegas. Vegas even had an area I think was like. That's right. There's claws and there's like baby ones in them, like little. Yeah. Ones. Oh, that's right. Yeah. You know, I think I might be like the only person that did not like New Vegas. A after a certain point, I just, I just finished it up, just because I was just, I was just tired of it. Oh, there's a. Oh yeah. Just give off radiation to get you close. Yeah, I. I mean, but, I mean, well, I mean, just just for a few seconds in a way. But. Right, right, yeah. Now I, I figured. Where's well, the messenger again? I hate this quest because he keeps. It's like they keep harassing you with it until you do it. <laughs> <laughs> I like, like. It keeps it, popping up. The messenger, help like, him. Like state of decay. The only thing is, it won't go away because you'll do it, and then the next time you log in, there he is again. Oh, for real? Oh my god. Yeah, a lot of a lot of these events are just repeatable. That's what I said. So that guy's harassing me. He just keeps <laughs> Every now and then, I do find a Scorch Beast out this way. They'll be flying above. Have you killed a Scorch Beast yet? No. In fact, that last time when I just joined you briefly, uh, that's the first time I even saw one for myself. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, it, it's a thrilling feeling when you finally have to take one down on your own because they attack you. and When you finally get one down by yourself, it took me like... Uh -oh. I've had 20 minutes to bring that thing down. Oh. I hate bugs, man. They, they're so hard to hit. Yeah, I agree. I was just trying to remember how to do bats. Is that left bumper? I guess I'll figure out in the next You'll see some funny stuff happen. One of, one of the funniest things that happened to me was um, I was exploring up north and um, a scorch beast spotted me. He was flying around above the trees. Right. He starts, so I start running because I, he was like a level 75 and I was like level 50 and I was like, so I took off running down the highway and I run into a, a sheep squatch attacking some mutants. Wait, a what? And a sheep squatch is just a, a sheep squatch. Have you ever seen those? Uh uh. Yeah, they're as deadly as a death claw. Oh, jeez. But it was funny. The the sheep squatch was attacking the mutants, and I um I hear the mutants, you know, talking like you know. Why won't you die? And they're trying to club the sheep squatch to death. <laughs> I just start. I hid in a bus, and then the scorch beast starts attacking the sheep squatch, and I just started watching. <laughs> it's it was cool. hilarious. That's cool that it have random events <laughs> like that. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, so well, the, the mutants were helping me because the mutants were doing damage because they were high level mutants, like level level sixty eight. Oh jeez. <laughs> So they were doing damage to the, the Scorch Beast and the Sheep Squatch. And I wanted the Sheep Squatch dead because it was a legendary one. And I wanted to get the legendary weapon off of me. Oh, so if even if uh, whatever something else kills it, you can claim the weapon off of it. Well, you know, all you have to do is do a little damage to it yourself to help out, and you'll, you'll get the credit for it. Oh, nice. Did not know that. Yeah, if, if I wouldn't have taken a shot at the sheep squatch at all, I wouldn't have gotten anything, but I was doing damage from the bus window, just shooting him once in a while. 
Wait, is that? Who's I was trying to let the scorch beast and the mutants. What? Who? Who's shooting? Oh, up above. Up here. You have to climb that pole. Well, crap. Better take some aid real quick. Oh. There's others over there I'm on the on other something. side of there the road. dead body over here. Oh, whoa, 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 what? Where did that come from? Over here. Here's a recipe over here, Marlock soft shell. That hurt. <coughs> Where is it? Oh, over there. I just let him shoot. They're just gonna be popping off their little pop guns. They're too afraid to come over here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I almost fell. <laughs> Oh, there you are. Yeah, there's some down by that church there. <laughs> there, got him. Alright. Whoops, God, I keep forgetting what my button functions are. Yeah, on that shelf over there on the other side, there's a recipe on that roof there. Up here? Yeah, go ahead. There's a shelf oh, over there on the it. right. Yeah, I and see it. a recipe. It. Oh, my alert. Soft shell cake. If you already know it, I usually, I usually sell them for like, I don't know, any, anywhere from 10 to 15 caps. Who to shoot? Where's this one? I think oh, I he's on that it. side? Yep. Yeah. Oh, there's another one. He's by the cemetery. Got it. He's oh, got there's another lost. one. Where'd he go? Huh. There he is. Now he's dead, okay. <laughs> Finally. I think the rest of them are on the other side of the roofs over there. Or on the ground. Was it by the Mothman statue? There's Mothman eggs. Okay, where is the Mothman statue? Straight ahead from where you're looking down. See, you can see part of the statue right there. See his legs? Turn, turn to your left a little. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh, and those red things are the eggs? Yeah, laying on the ground. <laughs> Is there anything interesting in this church? Or where we're at? 
Oh, um, there's all sorts of loot in here. Like, uh, sometimes I'll, I'll just come here and I'll like take everything, and then scrap it, and then that way I can sell it for money. There's a I'm trying to find the door. Should be a door. Yeah, I think this one right here that goes downstairs. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, it doesn't go all the way down. It just takes you to oh. rooms. Oh, rad roaches. Oh god. There should be another one around the corner. No, no, gloves are good for taking. Gloves have screws. Yeah. And, uh, you get one or two screws. I remember that. Oh, here's a typewriter. I always take sugar because I make hard. Uh, I sell hard lemonades. I need sugar and vodka for that. Okay, Mothman Part Two. Just gonna grab it, but not listen to it. Oh, oh, this must be part one. No, the interloper. I'll play that. There are other things in this world now that cannot be explained. The end of the world has awoken. Something we all know. The Mothman. Is this banjo will have screws. And what? What? Where you come from? Sugar and a lamp back there. Comprehension. The Mothman is a creature more like us than the unknowable horrors in the peripheral CH monthly conscious minds. No longer just a false memory now. I have heard a tale of this entity made real deep in the earth. The storyteller was mad by any reckoning, but his story, no less true. My name is Jeff Lane. I will lay bare this watcher. No matter how deep I must go, I will come to know the true nature of the interloper. Give you a buttercup front leg. That'll have a, a screw. Yeah, that. Yeah. You sure you don't want this typewriter? Oh, I probably got more stuff than you. So if you want to take it. All right, cool. <laughs> What's well, it? Took that globe. I. They want to take everything. Alright. No, I, I probably, I mean, I farm a lot of stuff, so I mean, I'm, I'm sure I'll get more stuff than you do, but... Do I take, uh... Take some rat poison, I can put that on my shelf to, uh, <laughs> scare customers. <laughs> Is that it's the secret ingredient to my Mike's hard lemonade? <laughs> <laughs> is that how? Uh, um, what was I gonna say? Um, is that useful for anything? For crafting anything? Uh, when you break down rat poison, I think you get uh, always one. It's stuff with chemistry. I oh, think how you did get you? One of asbestos. Oh my god! Oh my god! What am I hung up on? Okay, I was gonna say how did... <laughs> he's, I, I injured him enough. He's just sitting there. Yeah, well, cause he, I uh, thought I hit him, shot him at least once. Oh, that's disgusting. This responder corpse. Impact, nice. Turpentine. Oh, here's a bone cutter. That should have screws in it. Yeah, and I think, I want to see, you might get a piece of plastic too off of that. I think you're right, actually. Oh, and there's a, there's a station, a chemistry station you can, um, Break down your junk over here. Oh, nice. And your weapons. I got a bunch of pipe pistols from these guys. I can break that down. Yeah, I think I will do the same. And then I'll scrap the junk. Yeah, see, I already reduced my weight. 
Fans are good to take. Fans have like a gear or a spring or something. Yeah, I did find some a uh, fan or two earlier. Well, if you want to get a lot of plastic, like these empty blood packs, that's uh, IV packs. Those are all plastic. Yeah, yeah, for making a. Uh, oh, that's. Oh, so you don't make your like your own Rataway and stuff with them. Oh, I, I never make my own Rataway or. Because I, I find so much of it in the game. Gotcha. Um, you can't craft it. And can you craft... But those empty packets? Those empty packets you scrap and you can get the plastic. Gotcha. Is what I do that for. Can you, uh... Make blood packs with them? Yes, I use blood packs. Because uh, the, the blood packs have the, uh... They give you hit points. Yes, exactly, yeah. Cause it, yeah, it's uh. Oh, here's some more gunpowder. Um. Um. What's the glowing thing? packs are good too. Like I'll craft glowing packs. Right. Cause that helps you with radiation. Yeah, exactly. Let me see here. What do I want? So you see, I'll, I'll, I'll sell those. Uh, I'll sell those in my vending machine. A lot of people don't utilize that stuff. It's like I think blood packs and glowing packs are better than the. Some of the other items that people sell. Like, like I never use Psycho. Yeah. I just sell Psycho. I never use it. I have, I only use it in Fallout 4. Like buff tats, I don't use buff tats, but I know a lot of other players do, so I'll sell it. And I can get, you know, like anywhere from 10 to 12 caps per bottle. Oh, wow. So if I sell 10 of them at one time to a person, that's like 100 caps. And that's usually what I do. I'll wait until I have about 10 to 20 of those, and then I'll put it in my vending machine. And then you'll have one, you'll have someone come and buy all of it. <laughs> Crazy. Wow, you got it figured out, man. I mean, don't let people rip you off after you're, if you shop around enough at other men, people that sell, eventually you'll see the people that are trying to um, rip you off and sell something for 5,000 caps when it's not worth that. And they're just trying to take advantage of people that don't know any better or don't know the game enough. Gotcha. All right. I like the hunter's coat. Right. <clears throat> the, the hunter's jacket's one of the rare items in the game, and once I figured out how to get it, I mean, a lot of people sell that for 5,000, 8,000 caps. And I know how, I, I wouldn't got one on my own. I was like, why the hell pay that kind of money? Yes, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, whoops. How do you get to that statue? I guess this way. Nope, not here. And that's something we can go do uh, sometime too. I'll show you how to, uh, um, like on your own even, like if I'm not playing with you. Right. I'll show you how you can get that robot vendor to spawn. And uh, if you're lucky, he'll be selling that. Uh, well, he always has some rare item. You just don't know what which one. What do you do with these Mothman? Sometimes he has what they call the, the clean space, space suit. Like it's rare. Oh, for real? Yeah, it's like a different looking, um... You know, it's good to wear for radiation. Like, you can wear it. But a lot, a lot of people that want to collect all the items in the game for clothing, because there are players that do that. I mean, they're, they're willing to give you, you know, thousands of caps for that. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's so, so something like that would be worth 
a, a couple of thousand <laughs> if you really wanted it. Yeah, like, like right now on my other character, I have two of those clean spacesuit outfits that are anti-radiation. And they kind of look like a space astronaut suit. Um, but I bought it from the vendor for like 500 caps, and um, I can sell it in my vending machine. Um, I never, I never charge really more than a thousand to fifteen hundred for that stuff. Do you? Because uh, my my thought process is, um, some people sell it for like five thousand. Right. But see, you're gonna you're gonna leave it sit in your machine for weeks before someone might want to pay that to get it. Right. So my thought process is is kind of like real business, like uh, money in your inventory sitting on your on your shelf. That's money being wasted. Right. Always keep your inventory moving. So by the time he sells that for like say five thousand caps, I've already pushed out, you know, two or three thousand a day. Right. <laughs> on my on my own vending machine. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, cause yeah, that that's a good way to look at it. He thinks he's making more money just because he's waiting patiently and someone will buy it. But you can actually make more if you just sell more, of farm it, it, yeah, and sell more of it for cheaper. And I was gonna ask you, you may or not be, may or may not be able to know, but do you have like regular people, like, like say someone's like, oh my god, this guy is not ripping me off, so they come back regularly to check your your wares. Well, because I end up on a different server each time, you know, uh, when I join. Gotcha. Uh, but I do, you know, I play enough, I recognize names now. Because people that play it pretty much every day, like me, um, I start to recognize their names. Um, and you do the same thing, in, like in Nuclear Winter. Gotcha. And you play Nuclear Winter long enough, and you'll, you'll, you'll know who the good players are. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I get you. Like that little blue psycho, that guy's killed me so many times. <laughs> Have you but then again, he probably kills at least a dozen play players each game, so. Right. Oh wait, what's this Mark Man statue? Nice. Um Do you have you ever been teamed up with him? It was would, would, uh, yes, would that I actually um uh, I forgot their names right now. Uh, it wasn't Little Blue Psycho. It was... Uh, I can't think of it, but he's always on a team. And they always... they uh, A lot of times they'll win. And I was playing one night late, like at 1 in the morning. And I was on the... I spawned on those guys' team. And man, we just... We just murdered everybody. <laughs> Oh, that was nothing. It was the easiest win I've ever had on that game. <laughs> <laughs> and it was mainly because those guys just ran through and just slaughtered everybody. I think I had one kill that game. And I just did damage to the rest. I killed everybody before I could get to them. <laughs> now, does this have crossplay, or is it all... Can, like, are we, if we were in a public server, would we be with all other... Xbox players. Do oh, I don't think it's. As far as I know, it's not crossplay, but it could be. I guess I don't know. I, I always figured that because um, they have it on PS4 too. I don't think we can play with PS4 players. Correct. Which I hope that changes someday. But we might be able to play. I don't know. It might be like State of Decay where PCs can be in the same server. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, because, uh, whatever was that, Call of Duty is cross-platform, like all... When you, and when you start going around to, like, other people's camps and checking their prices, because that's what I started doing, when I decided to start, like, seeing how, what people price stuff at, because I'm not, I'm not, I think it's stupid, I'm not willing to pay someone, um more than 30 caps for a bundle of any resource. I don't think, the only thing I would be willing to pay for more than 30 caps for a bundle of 10 or 20 is maybe the military um, ammo bag? Uh, ammo bag, yeah. Huh, it's funny you uh, say because that. I, I, the, the ballistic materials is really uh, probably the hardest thing to get and you use a lot of it. Gotcha. Um, in fact, I, 
I often pay, overpay. I'll pay 300 to a robot vendor to buy a bulk of it because I I run out of it. Oh wow. <laughs> Because it's hard to farm. There's not a lot of good spots for a lot of that stuff. and But everything else, like, I swear to God, you're going to go to the people's vending machines and you'll see some idiot charging 50 to 100 caps for a bundle of 10 copper. <laughs> and I don't, know who's, I don't know who's paying that kind of money, but that's ridiculous. I, all right. I've seen bundles of steel. You get like 30 steel in a bundle, right? which is a lot. And I don't sell it for more than 21 caps. Because steel, while it's going to be used a lot, it is pretty easy to find. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I'm not going to charge somebody, you know, 25 caps to 30 if it's pushing it. So. I got gotcha. you. Well, hey, man, I'm going to... That's why I sell a lot of it, because people, people go to my camp and they like my prices, so they, I can sell 10 bundles at one time, easy. And to be honest, um, Fallout first helped, because people have that unlimited stash. Right. They'll buy all my bulk and then store it in there. <laughs> all that, oh, wow. Well, dude, I'm going to... Because they have all the extra space. I'm going to wrap it up here. And uh, okay. thank you for guiding me through this, and we'll have to do it again soon sometime. Um, All right. And yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll hit you up. I'll send you a message to let you know. And um, yeah, this is, this is crazy. Uh, <laughs> All right, we'll talk to you later, man. All right, man. Good seeing you, Justin. Have a good night. See you. Bye.